So I hear you want to change your life and I'm so excited that you're here because this is something I've done myself and this is something that I help people do quite literally every single day as part of my job. There are so many tools out there, so many different ways that you can change your life. But today I'm going to share with you the one tool that had the biggest impact on my life personally and that I use with all of my clients and that is human design. If you've not heard of human design before, then I do encourage you to maybe go and check out some of my other videos where I explain how human design works. But essentially, is a tool that can really help you identify who you are at your core and how you're designed to thrive in every single area and aspect of your life. And the reason I believe this tool is so powerful is because it helps you find ways to change your life in the most effortless way for you. When you find things effortless, it also means that they're sustainable for you. And chances are that you've tried many, many times before to change things around, to feel better, to find clarity, to make shifts in different areas of your life, and yet you're finding yourself here again. The reason for that is because we often look for solutions and strategies that other people have created based on what works for them. The human design doesn't work like that. Human design helps you identify the unique strategy that is going to work specifically for you based on your strengths, your gifts, your talents, your desires, your unique quirks, and the natural ways that you're meant to operate, then creating the change that you're craving becomes more easeful and more enjoyable. So let's dive in. We're going to split the next 90 days of your transformation into three distinct phases. The theme for month one is going to be discovery. This month is going to be all about you discovering who you truly are at your core. Most of us live our lives on autopilot. We spend decades masking who we are, trying to fit in, trying to be accepted, trying to be respected, trying to be loved. And as a result, we end up with certain identities and certain lifestyles that don't bring us any joy, that drain us physically, psychologically, and emotionally. So this month needs to be about understanding your skills, your talents, your gifts, or even things like how you're designed to make decisions, how you're designed to use your energy day to day. And the one tool that can give you all of that insight about yourself is your human design. So this month, the first step is going to be to get your human design chart, also known as your body graph. You can get it for free on my website. There are loads of other places where you can get a free chart, but I will leave the link to mine in the box below if that's the one you want to use. Once you have your body graph in front of you or your human design chart in front of you, be warned, you're not gonna know what you're looking at, especially if it's the first time you've seen one. They look like this. I don't know if you can see mine behind me, but essentially you're looking at a visual representation of your design. This is a blueprint that is going to give you insight into so many different things. The way that you get inspired, the way that you think and form opinions, the way that you're designed to express yourself, the way that you're designed to find purpose and direction in life, the way that you experience emotions, the way that you deal with pressure or stress, the things that you're afraid of or how you connect your intuition, the way that you're designed to make decisions and how you can really tap into your inner wisdom instead of always looking to other people to tell you what you should and shouldn't do. So this one little graph gives you so much information. As someone who doesn't know human design, it can be confusing. So the next step for you is going to be to get clear on the most important aspect of your design. So these are going to be, number one, your energy type. You can be one of five energy types and your energy type has got nothing to do with your personality. We're not saying that everyone in the world can be put in five different boxes and that is it. Your energy type simply tells you the way that your energy is designed to be used, the way that you're designed to absorb energy and to use energy to do things, right? To show up in the world so that you learn to manage your own energy and instead of unknowingly draining yourself every day, you're going to be able to remain energized no matter what you do. Two, you're going to find your strategy. Your strategy in human design is going to tell you your unique way of attracting aligned opportunities. So how you're designed to show up in the world in a way that brings the things that you want to you rather than you having to force your way through your personal life, your career, your job, your business, your relationships. So by using your strategy, you're going to make it so much easier for you to actually be doing things that were meant for you instead of wasting your time chasing things that were not 
or chasing things that you desire but creating more resistance in the process. Number three, you're going to find your authority. Your authority is the way that you're designed to make decisions. A lot of us have so much inner wisdom that we can tap into that we are completely unaware of. And when you understand the way that you're designed to make decisions, what happens is that you start to build inner trust and confidence in yourself so that you can become self-reliable and you don't always go and look for external approval or advice or validation in order to feel secure in how you're choosing to live your life. Because that inner guidance is going to be with you all the time and is going to take you where you're meant to go. And number four, I want you to find your profile. Your profile is going to tell you two really important things. Number one is going to tell you how you see yourself and how you perceive yourself internally. So this is going to show you what your natural comfort zone is, the kind of behaviors and personality traits that you tend to revert to. And it's also going to show you how other people perceive you and the things that other people need of you in order for you to make an impact, make your presence known and make a difference in this world. So it's going to give you such interesting information about what you need internally to thrive, but also how you need to show up in the world to share yourself with others. There is so, so much more that you can find out about yourself through human design. But when you're just getting started, I highly encourage you to focus on these four things. It's so much more important that you understand what these four things mean and how to implement these four things in your life than you going off and trying to learn too much about your design all at once and then just getting overwhelmed. Now your chart is going to tell you what these things are for you. In order for you to understand what they actually mean, you've got different options. You will have free resources available to you online. I've already created a lot of YouTube videos that go into detail into most of these things. And there are other people out there who also share a lot about human design. So it'll just be a matter of you finding someone who resonates with you in how they explain human design. You'll also be able to access a lot of this information on Google, on blogs. The other alternative, if you want to save yourself the time, is that you could work with a human design reader such as myself. So for example, I offer both human design readings which are one-to-one -one calls where we get on a call and I explain your design to you step by step and I sell something called the human design codex which you can download in a matter of minutes. And this is a beautiful document completely personalized to you and your chart that is going to explain every single aspect of your design step by step. So there are loads of ways that you can gain this information and understand this information but regardless of how you choose to do it this is the second intention of month one. The third intention of month one is going to be to carry out a life audit. This is going to help you understand, especially once you have the knowledge that human design is going to give you of what it is that you need to thrive. By carrying out a life audit, you're going to understand exactly where you're not operating in alignment. And you might find that there's one or two particular areas of your life that are suffering because of it. Often when we feel overall unhappy with our lifestyle, it's actually not every single aspect of our life that we're unhappy with. So you want to get really clear as to where exactly the gap is in your life and what exactly is giving you this feeling of I'm not happy with who I am and what I'm doing and I want to change my life. Because what I always say to my clients is once we have a specific problem, then we can find a specific solution. If you just have this overall feeling of I'm unhappy, happy, it's really difficult to know and pinpoint what exactly needs to be fixed or tweaked or aligned in order for you to be happy. So the way that you're going to carry out this life audit is by using something called the wheel of life. I use this with clients all the time and I've been using it for over 15 years. That's how long I've been a coach for. And it's super simple and this is why I love it. So you're going to draw a big circle and you're going to divide a circle into eight segments. Each segment is going to represent a different area of your life. For example, your well-being, your finances, your relationships, your personal development. You can easily find examples of this online. Once you have your wheel, which represents your life, you're going to score each area of your life on a scale of one to 10, where 10 is this area of my life couldn't be any better. I'm so happy with it. And zero is, of course, this sucks. <laughs> so once you have done that, you can clearly see which areas of your life are currently suffering and which areas of your life you're most unhappy with. Once it becomes clearer to you, then you can zoom in even further and ask yourself this question for each of those areas. What is the reason or what are the reasons that this area is not scoring a 10? This is going to make it a lot easier for you to understand what is missing, what you feel like you're lacking or what you're unhappy with. And this is going to complete your intentions for month 
one. So by the end of month one, you will have so much more clarity as to who you are, what you need, and you're going to have a lot of clarity as to what exactly needs to change in your reality, in your actual lifestyle, for you to find the fulfillment, happiness, joy, and satisfaction that you're currently craving. Then you'll be ready for month two. Month two is all about unpacking. The first intention for month two is going to be for you to get clear on what good looks like. So using the points that you identified from your life audit as to why those areas of your life are not scoring a 10, you're going to get crystal clear as to what your life would look like if every single one of those areas was at a 10. And in order to do this, I want you to write down a description of what your life would look like a year from now if all of those areas were scoring a 10. This is going to allow your brain to play with the power of possibility. So you're going to get a piece of paper and you're going to write at the top of this piece of paper today's date, whenever you're watching this, but with next year's year. For example, the day I'm filming this is the 3rd of September 2024. If I was doing this exercise today, I would write 3rd of September 2025. And I want you to write in the present tense. You're going to be writing this as if it's already happened, as if it's currently happening. Really go into detail of painting the picture of who you are and what you're doing and how you're doing it this time next year based on the assumption that every area in your life that you identified from your life audit is in alignment and is now scoring a gorgeous 10. Once you have that, the next thing you're going to do is that you're going to turn it into a vision board. You're going to go on Canva or on Pinterest or do it old school and cut out some magazines, whatever's going to work for you. But I want you to have a visual representation of what the next 12 months are going to look like for you that is going to act as a positive trigger every single day to remind you of the future that you're building, of the future that is already yours because you desire it and you can see it and you crave it and you want it and you deserve it and you're just going to keep your eye on the ball you're just going to constantly remind you of what it is that you want your true desires because when you're not working towards what you want you end up working towards something that someone else wants for you so once you've completed intention number two intention number three is going to be to get practical you're going to take your vision board and you're going to look at what's on that board and you're going to ask yourself this question what needs to happen in order for this to become a reality so you're going to start mapping out these specific actions that would need to happen that we need to get done that would need to take place in order for the things that you have on your vision board to become a reality this is going to give you exactly what you need to be doing Doing in order to be in alignment and achieve the life you want over the next 12 months. And what having that 12 month plan is going to do is that it's going to give you a really strong sense of motivation and direction for you to start changing your life over the next 90 days. It's going to give you that incentive. It's going to give you the clarity of this is why I'm doing this. This is what I'm working towards. This is how I want to feel. And that's going to give you the internal motivation to go through the transformation over the next 90 days. Once you've done that, you will have completed your tasks per month too. So at this point, not only you know yourself so much better and you know what you need in order to thrive and be energized and show up at your awesomest best self, you're also going to have a plan of how you practically can start to shift your reality to reflect who you are and what you want. Then you'll be ready for month Three. In month three, it's all about embodying. It's all about starting to actually show up as the version of you that you were always meant to be, that you identified in month one, doing the things you truly desire that you identified in month two. So the first intention for this month is going to be for you to start planning your week based on your human design and based on your action plan. So you're going to plan your week so that you can start showing up every single day consciously in alignment with who you are and with what you need to thrive and prioritizing the tasks that are going to move you towards everything you want. Intention number two is that you're going to start observing yourself. And I always say this to my clients, you're going to do that with curiosity and compassion. This is all about starting to notice, if I know who I am, 
and I know what I'm doing and I'm still not doing it, what are the mindset blocks? What is the conditioning? What are the fears and insecurities that are coming up for me to stop me from actually doing the thing? Because there's not lack of clarity and it's not lack of desire. So what is it? So you're going to start paying attention and identifying your conditioning. These are the shoulds, the musts, the traumas, the limiting beliefs that we all have collected over the decades and that we carry with us wherever we go. And the thing is that once you start making those shifts and making those changes, all of these things are gonna to come to the surface and you're gonna to have to face them because if you don't, if you just push them back down, they're just gonna pop up again later on. So as these come up to the surface, look at them with curiosity and compassion. What were the thoughts and feelings what were the habits that I reverted to that stopped me from being the person I know I want to be and doing the things I know I want to do? Once you have clarity around what those beliefs are, you're going to be ready for step three, which is to reflect and course correct. You will have years of behaving in a certain way and more so of thinking in a certain way that you can't erase or change overnight. But what you can do is that you can start practicing getting yourself back into alignment, getting yourself back on track whenever you start to divert from who you are and what you want. And the more you practice, the quicker and more efficient you're going to become. So by the end of the 90 days, you're going to be a completely new person because you're going to be clearer on who you are. You're going to be clearer on what it is that you need to do to thrive as the incredible individual that you are, how you can achieve all of your dreams, however bold they may be, how you're designed to achieve them in a way that feels good to you. You're going to have a really clear action plan of everything that you can do in order to get your reality, your world, your lifestyle into alignment so that your external world reflects your internal one. And you're going to start noticing and self-educating and course correcting every time you inevitably, because you're only human, divert from the right path for you. But you're going to get so much quicker and bring yourself back that your progress is going to compound. You do these things, you follow these three very distinct phases, you will not recognize yourself in three months time. And I know this because this is the same framework that I use with my clients and that I know works. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you would like personalized support and encouragement, then you can find the different ways that you can work with me over on my website. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. Go and change your life. Start today. Don't wait until tomorrow. Bye guys.